Hello friends, uh, I'm Lincoln Wright with Paint On Plastic and I'm going to uh, share with you today my second test with the uh, the weathering pencils. As you can see, it has all. They're relatively cheap, but uh, my friends at AK Interactive did send me a set of them to test out. Uh, I've gone through a few iterations, uh, just trying different stuff, etc. I mean, I've got some pretty good looks going. Uh, and I want to give a shout out to my friend Wilson. Uh, on social media, he liked my work and pinged me and said, hey Link, why don't you try this? Uh, using this as a additive to uh, the water helps to reduce the surface tension and make them a little bit more manageable. But be warned, they can be sudsy. Uh, I tried a few different places with that and uh, yeah, yeah, it did, uh, it did work pretty well. So here's an additional demo for you. Uh, this is my, my really simplified version for using them. And this one is straight tap water. <laughs> it's pretty hot today, so it's become effervescent. But that, that is not required. It doesn't have to be hot. It can be any temperature. I think this is, this is pretty, uh, pretty easy to use. So I'll put some on directly like this. This color is sepia. And it's a, well, it should be sepia, but it turns out slightly warmish. Now using a larger brush, this one is what, size two, uh, from AK Interactive. I am putting it into the two drops of our kitchen detergent mix, and I'm gonna use that to mix this around. Now, the difference is, uh, you can see the surface tension, it's lower than normal tap water. Now, it's not as low as mineral spirits, but <laughs> don't mix these with mineral spirits. You'll see all kinds of wrong. Now there you go, you can see it's pretty easy to, to get it across the surface. It wets out nicely. And uh, this one is more of, if we have to put names on stuff, this is more of a uh, filter. So that's one of the things I like this for. Now you can see I'm stretching it out. And by the time it gets to about its limit, with just a little bit of pooling, you can see it's about like that. And that's against the base color before you can still you can see that that one is still slightly greeny blue and this one is a, yeah, a lovely it's got undertones I sound like a wine uh, connoisseur don't I it's got lovely undertones of ochre uh, bark tan and bitumen <laughs> but see it's ever so slightly uh, it's got some orange in there ochre if you will now for the other side for the other theme uh, now, this is not necessary. This is not uh, realistic by any means. It's, uh, it's just an art thing that we can have warm on one side, cool on the other. So here with the straight dark blue color, I'm going to balance that across by filtering, augmenting, slightly altering. It's probably plenty. This side of my green. Now again, actually, let me show you the difference. So this one, is just regular Northwest Sydney Bogan tap water. Yep, that's where I live. I'm Bogan, mate. So, there we go, I'm gonna change to my proper, I can't do that accent, sorry. I'm not very good at it. Now, uh, actually, it looks pretty good. Sorry, I, I wanted more fail. I failed at the fail, that's a bad fail. Uh, but I'll try to get it so that, see, there's probably still just enough detergent on my brush that it's, it's uh, not worked, but mm, you will see though. <laughs> you hopefully see that it does smooth smooth out better. See, look at that. It does smooth out. Just trust me. Come on. I've never led you wrong. Come on. It's Uncle Link. I'm showing you the good stuff. Uh, it does blend ever so slightly better with the uh, detergent blend. There we go. But I guess that also goes to show that we don't have to use things like that. I mean, they, they are kind of gimmicks. Tap water, also, no worries at all. So that's my favorite way so far. And this is the cool thing about the water. It's a hot day today, and you can see it's drying really, really quickly. Bluish. See how different that is? The blue filter almost makes the green glow through, whereas the warm filter really flattens it down, mats it down too. It's really cool. I love doing that. This side, you can see the, uh, the uh, this is the upper torso. You can see 
I've got the sepia blends here and I've got the bluish blends on this side. And you can see it, it creates a wonderful contrast from one side to the other. Nifty as. Now, a really quick run through, I added, this side is before, this is just my basic, uh, the painting steps I've shown you on YouTube, the uh, acrylic work, and this is after some pencils over the top. I really like it. It's only subtly different. We're starting to get, uh, you know, we're, we're bumping up against that law of diminishing returns where if we keep working too much on it, uh, it just gets overworked rather than, uh, rather than improving. So I'm going to show you on this rear piece here. This is going to be, uh, it's the rear focal point, I feel, of the model. And I'm just going to go through the spectrum from dark rust through to light rust, very, very simply. Go for the dip in tap water. Uh, add a little bit to the shadow areas. There we go. Maybe a bit of a streak out of there. Cool. Set aside. Next one down should be medium rust. Boom. Medium rust. Dip. And let's go for a little bit up here at the top. Yep. Cool. And some through here. Set aside. Now I like that you don't have to put a cap on or mess about. You can just dip, apply, put to the side. It's my kind of uh, my kind of laziness, man. That's cool. Okay, this one in here a little. Yep. Okay. I'll wait for orange for the next one. So they've got two more colors. There's the vivid, vivid rust, which I think they've gone for more of a scarlet, and then they've got strong ochre, which is just hard orange. I'm going to use a small brush here dipped in my uh, detergent mix and gently massage, move that into place like this. I'm going to leave some of it more expressed so that when it when it dries it will leave more of a mark. Other ones more of a blend like this. And let's make a streak out of this one. Ready? Pull it down. Very nice light streak. Wash. Let's get some more streaks here too, because I really wanted this color to streak across the water slide. Oh, that's sexy. Yep. Now, I feel the one on the left is a little overdone, so I'm going to keep working that whilst wet, like so. Nifty. This one here, dry my brush off mostly, and let's streak a bit through the middle of that effect there on the side here. Cool. Oh yeah, that's that's wicked cool. Okay, let's move in with a little bit of the orange. Or should I go red vivid? Let's go red vivid first. So they've called it, what is it? They call it vivid orange. Scarlet, you mugs, scarlet. <laughs> hey, hey, that was one of my best Aussie bombs ever, wasn't it? Now look at that. I can't do that with oils. I, I quite like some of the, the for, forgivability. Is that, is that the right word? Okay, here we go. Red, drop the brush. Come on, where's pointy? Pointy brush in here, just to clean that back a little. Yeah, I'm changing techniques on the fly. You know I can't be sensible and keep it good. There we go. So that's looking all right, isn't it? Streak through on the side. Kaboom. Yep. Now, a couple of touches of finally, let's get to the strong ochre. Man, can that be a thing on our channel from now on? I've got to try to say the, the paint colors in as broad an Aussie accent as I can muster. Strong ochre. No, that one, no, no, lost it. Lost it. Ruined. Okay. So this one, I think it'll go better. It needs to be drier. Drier will go better. There we go. A bit up here, a touch here. Now, of course, they can be applied dry as well. Now, I've got a lot of water in here, so I'm going back with a bigger brush. I want to sop a bit of that up. Yep. Blend it in a little. Bit of a drag. Kind of ruined it. Fix the drag. Still fixing the drag. I guess I can keep saying that until I get it right, don't I? There 
There we go. Cut that back. Blend this side just a tad more. I think we're pretty good. Yep. Now some of these, let's see how workable it still is. I think one of the cooler things here is that, yeah, you see it stayed workable pretty long. Now it's a hot day. This is just water. So uh, that's, that's a big plus. Kind of reminds me of red cordial. Any of you guys have red cordial as a kid? Evil, wicked stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cool. Now, let's go back just to fine tune a couple of spots. I want to, want to add dry. There we go. Now, the cool thing is because they've been dipped, uh, dry is, is relative. They're still a little uh, sludgy. No, that's probably not the right word. But, uh, they're slightly, it totally feels like uh, oil, but you know, wrong, uh, because it's mixing with water. So it's nifty, it's very interesting like that. I, uh, I think I can get into this more. As I learn the control, uh, I may be able to get similar effects that I can do with oils. I'm very good with oils. Can, am I allowed to say that? I think I am. And that's half the battle. Yep. Okay. Maybe a bit too much down here. Let's let's work this back a little. Yep. That works back. And this side too. Gentle kiss of a Yeah, there we go. Yes. I'm liking that. A great deal. And that's a basic ill thought out, badly planned, poorly represented version of augmenting rust effects using these AK Interactive uh, watercolors. Actually, my explanation was better than the, uh, the actual run through. But I think that looks pretty good. So here's my just acrylic work. This one definitely is a little more interesting. It's just a little bit more uh, variation there. I'm liking this a great deal. I hope you like it too. And I've got a bunch more cool stuff like this coming up. Please like and subscribe because uh, I've always got a bunch more cool content for you. Um, I'm going to try to get my local hobby store, Hobby Co, to get these in because I think they should be selling them. And uh, remember, these videos are brought to you by my wonderful Patreon support community. Uh, they pay me money, which allows me to sit around at home, make this cool stuff for you, and my wife and family don't leave me. That's really what's happening. Um, I've actually got an additional video for you where I did a bunch more effects here. Um, it's going to be too long though. I think if I do this one and that one. So this one is going to be a freebie for my YouTube buddies. And this one, please go over to my website, paintonplastic.com. And um, there's a very long video about how I did these dust effects and other experimentation for you. Thanks a bunch, guys. More soon again. Bye for now.